Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for coming on back for some more Persona. I'm very excited to jump back in. Last time, we uh, took down the, uh, the nasty, nasty CEO of Okumura Foods, Kunikazu Okumura, uh, Haru's dad. Uh, we uh, grinded a long time uh, to get our, our very, very good bless skill up, uh, and we finally took out that final boss fight that was giving us some trouble. We took that out. We got it. With three days left to spare, um, before Haru was uh, scheduled to be handed off to her new fiancé uh, for a business arrangement. Uh, which is pretty gross. But we've done it. We're coming up on the deadline for this and then midterms. We just barely, you know, squeaked through at the end there. But there's something in the air. Now that we're not in immediate danger, we have met all of the romanceable characters in this mod of Persona 5 Royal. So now that we've we've met everyone and gotten to engage with them in a decent capacity, it's time to decide who to date. And uh, to this end, I have prepared a comprehensive PowerPoint <laughs> about our romance options so let's let's freaking go through it shall we let's let's figure out what all is going on here and who all we're gonna joker's gonna smooch because we got we got a lot of options we got a lot of options set forth so let's talk about our options right now for boys we got ryuji we got yusuke we got mishima we got akechi we got a decent spread of boys. We got four boys to choose from. For girls, we also have four girls. We have Haru. We have Hifumi. We have Takemi. And we have An. So. My goal. Is to go through. And pick one boy. To romance. Pick one girl. To romance. And we'll we'll get their romances up to. Up to nine and ten. And date them. Uh, and anybody else, if we get their their um, social links up to nine or ten, we will turn them down. We will not date them. So we got we got to pick two in these two lists. So we'll start with the boys. Let's let's, let's go through our, our our boys options. We got Ryuji, Ryuji Sakamoto. Look at him. Look at his cool, his cool portrait. So we may as well start with the pros, right? There's a few things. That are that are definite pros about Ryuji. First off, he's loyal to a fault. He is he is here with us with the Phantom Thieves until the end. Second, his weapon is a pipe. That's pretty cool. That's a cool guy thing to do is use a metal pipe as a weapon. If you watched my uh, Somnium Files playthrough, my Nirvana Initiative playthrough, you know that I love Mizuki. She uses a pipe as a weapon. That's a, it's a cool weapon to use. And that's it for pros. <laughs> Let's talk about the cons. Let's talk about the cons Ryuji comes with. He's like, he's kind of like a brother to us. He's like a brother to An, and we kind of know him in that capacity. So he's kind of like a brother, and that, that would be weird to date him. Because <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know how I would do that. That seems weird to me. He's dumb as rocks. He's a stupid, dumb idiot. Uh... Which doesn't make me like him less, but I definitely don't think I want to engage with him in a romantic capacity. I'm not. I'm not into himbos. I'm not. That's not my. Not my style. He should be sent to horny jail. He cannot be trusted in settings where women are wearing bathing suits or underwear. Or he just. He just. He's too horny, and he has to tone it down. So Ryuji, well, he's got a couple pros. We got he's definitely got some definite cons. Yusuke, our next guy. 
Now, Yusuke is kind of, kind of, he's cool as a cucumber, so our pros, he's an intellectual, right? In the inverse to Ryuji, he can have an intellectual conversation and we can, we can really, you know, get into it with, in a conversation. We can talk to him. We can, we can discuss together uh, all, all manner of things. He's an objectively good artist. We can talk about art, right? We can, we can talk about the Sayuri. We can talk about his art. His whole social link has been talking about how he can improve his art and incorporate new, new elements and new stuff like that, uh, which, which is cool. Uh, he voiced by Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer's got a great voice. So, like, that's pretty cool. But it's Matt Mercer. Now, there are some cons. There are definitely some cons. Uh, one, he's weird around women. Uh, this is the thing with a lot of the men in this game. He's weird around women. He was weird with An when we first met him. He, he is just like, no, it's purely for artistic merit. It's purely for the artistic vision. But he's horny about it. He's weird around women, and that's not a great thing. Uh, he has low self-esteem. He's got a whole issue with that, where he's he really beats himself up about his work. And it's like, like I, I can build you up. I can kind of work with that and like build you up about your work, but you gotta work with me. <laughs> you, can, you can't just bash yourself, because that's going to get exhausting for me if we're, if we're in a romantic relationship. So like, that's... That's something I gotta I gotta evaluate, right? That's that's in the con comps. Another con, he's voiced by Matt Mercer, uh, which means he will never be Yusuke Kitagawa to me. He will be Matt Mercer, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, it it's weird. I he's only Matt Mercer to me. <laughs> so that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing with Yusuke that I'm I'm a little worried about. So we got, okay, we got a, a sort of balanced list of pros and cons. Now, Yugi Mishima. Mishima is a fascinating character. And he's definitely got some pros and some cons. So let's talk. So pros. He's helpful, I guess. Um, and then the cons. Uh, that's it for the pros. Um, he has a he has a fame complex, uh, as we saw in his in his like rank seven event. He's got a real big fame complex. He's got an inferiority complex. Um, he's got a victim complex. Uh, I, I mean, say what you want about the guy. He's not fucking simple. Uh, he's a very complicated guy, and I think that's just a lot of baggage for him to be bringing to a relationship. Especially with him, like, sort of putting the Phantom Thieves on a pedestal. And that's me. I'm the Phantom Thieves. So, like, that's a lot to deal with in a romantic relationship. We have one more boy. Goro Kenshin. This, this guy is, I mean, let's just run through it. He enjoys rigorous debate. Always, always a great sign. He enjoys rigorous debate. We are going to have so many conversations about stuff that we have lightly held opinions on, and we will kill each other on those hills. That's fun to me. That is a fun recreational activity. So I think we could gel there. Um, he takes me to nice cafes. He took me on a fun cafe date that one time. That was nice. That was cool. Even if he did get sort of swarmed by, by paparazzi. He, know, he knows some good places to take me out to eat, so that's that's fun, right? He kind of knows knows the town. He knows that cool jazz club. He knows the the darts and billiards room, right? He's he he knows the town. He knows where to take me on a night out. He got me on TV that one time. All right, listen, I'm not saying that I'm going to use a catchy to get onto TV again, but if that were a metric we were evaluating people based on, he could do that. He got me on t he picked me out of a crowd and got me on TV because he thought I looked like I would be interested in intellectual debate and he was correct. Um, so a lot of pros, cons, he's a cop. Um, 
That's a big one. It's a really big one. He is a he is a police officer. Even though he's a high school, he is a cop, and that means that he's a cop. So that's a lot. He opposes the Phantom Thieves, right? Very vocal uh, in that, and I'm the Phantom Thief, so like that's gonna take a toll on our uh, on our relationship. He also wouldn't hang out with me until I had the, a sufficient charm level, which is kind of shallow. Um, Despite the fact that the, this man's mind is very deep, uh, I had to be—I had to be charming enough to sweep him off his feet, and that—that's a little shallow. So that's that's something to take into account. Um, ig ignore that. I, it, we're not going to talk about that. Haru, we're, we're going to start on the girls. Um, so Haru, uh, she's. Uh, let's talk about her pros. She can buy me things. She's very rich. I love a trinket. I love a treat. I love a little present. Uh, so like that is a that is a very good uh, sort of love language matchup. Um, she's very sweet. She's so kind. Uh, she cares about what is best for people. You know, she abhors her father's business practices. Uh, she has a, truly a good heart, and despite being wealthy, is is trying to do the right thing by everyone including you know the 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 lower classes the the working class people so like that's that's good that's good to have now there are a couple cons uh she just got out of an arranged marriage so she probably doesn't want a relationship right now uh we're literally we're at this point in the game where she's just having her arranged marriage called off so like that's big that's that's a huge con now, Hifumi Togo, we've hung out a lot with Hifumi. We know a lot about her. We know that she loves intellectual combat. I kind of touched on this with Akechi. I, we are going to pick sides and have an argument about something neither of us really care much about purely for the exercise of, of debating who is correct. And that's amazing. That's such a good, a good feeling. I love to do that. I love to pick a side on a non-issue and then just argue for fun. So points right off the board, she loves intellectual combat. Uh, she would kick ass at D&D. And that is, oh god no, oh no, oh god. Uh, she would kick ass at D&D. And that is, is truly an important factor. If I'm gonna have a relationship with somebody, we go we gotta get a game going, and she would be very good at it, as as noted by her ability at uh, shogi and her ability to sort of amp anthropomorphize her pieces and uh, discuss the sort of character motivations of each one. So like that's great. Uh, she taught me how to swap out party members. Not gonna lie incredibly useful skill and she taught me how to do that real early so like she knows what's important and she's gonna she's gonna bring that to the table uh she also went on a date with me in hawaii and that is that was just fun and she just called me up and was like hey do you want to go on a date we're both here like we just happened to be in the same spot so like do we want to do this and it's like yes so she took the initiative there, and she organized a very fun time, which I really appreciate. I think that's nice. Uh, cons. She's got a shitty mom. Uh, we did go and change her heart, but as a shitty mom haver, that's going to come with a lot of baggage. So, like, that's that's a thing we're going to have to deal with if we if we have a relationship with he for me. Um, also, she goes to church. Um which isn't a bad thing, but again, it comes with a lot of territory. Um, so like, those are things we're gonna have to discuss if we if we get into something sort of longer term. Ty Takemi. You all know how I feel about Takemi. Uh, I mean, first off, hot punk. Very hot punk. Just uh, excellent style. It, absolutely amazing. Um, she's got big Dom energy, which 
I I really like. I'm a big fan of big dumb energy. And, and Ty Takemi has it in droves. Uh, I mean, she's very caring. She doesn't let on at first, but she cares very deeply about her patients. Uh, oh, my controller disconnected. That's, that's why the music stopped. There we go. Uh, she cares very deeply about her patients. Uh, she cares uh, very deeply about people close to her. Um, and she cares very deeply about uh, the impact that her actions have, right? Uh, she was misled about this for a while, but she cared very deeply about what had happened with her experimental treatment that had allegedly gone wrong, right? She, she sort of isolated herself and still resolved to help people, but was... Um, you know, took took that sort of malpractice with like a very serious weight, uh, which I think is is an implication of someone who is very morally robust. Uh, so like that's that's a very cool, interesting thing about a person. Now there are some cons, which is that she's a, an adult. <laughs> she's an adult. She's a full, literal, whole ass grown up. And she is flirting with me as a high schooler. Not as cool. Um, obviously very big pros, but like very, very deep cons here. Um, so that's a lot to sort of weigh. Uh, she's flirting with me as a fucking high schooler. And she's, an, she's an adult with a career who allegedly went to medical school. So like... She's not, like, a young adult. She's, like, probably 30-something. Which is still kind of a young adult. But she's... What I'm saying is she should know better. She's old enough to know far, far better. Um, this isn't a 20-year-old, 18-year-old thing. This is a... It's a pretty big gap. Uh, and our last girl. Our last girl. Our lovely, lovely Aunt Takamaki. I mean, let's talk about it. She's very nice. She's really very nice. She's sweet. She's caring. Uh, I believe in the normal base game, uh, she has a, a, a kindness threshold to hang out with her, so you have to be, like, a decent person. You have to be a kind and caring person to hang out with her. I think that was removed in this mod because you're a girl, but, like, I'm gonna, I'll take that into account. Uh, I think I was at the kindness threshold anyway when I started hanging out with her. So, like, she's cool. She's very nice. I enjoy hanging out with her. Uh, she's got that modeling side hustle. She's gonna get that bag, right? She's got... She's driven, right? And it, you, you see that with uh, her her confidant, like, social link scenes, where she wants to become not only a better model, but a better phantom thief. And she's very driven to do that. So I think her, her sort of modeling job is very indicative of, of that uh, sort of aspect of her personality. Now, there are some cons. Uh, I mean, she's coming fresh out of that hot, whole Kamashita debacle. So similar to Haru, I think, I imagine she's not super keen to jump right into a romantic relationship uh, after having been in a, in a pretty exploitative, um, uh, like, sexual relationship with uh, someone in a position of power. So, like, I think she probably needs some space. She needs some space to, like, come into her own and be find out who she is as her own person before she couples up with somebody especially because so much of her social identity was defined by Kamashita. so like that's a whole that's a whole can of worms that i think she might need some time before she gets into a relationship to figure out um also she takes up so much slide space like on i love you i it took i had to squish these <laughs> these bullet points on, please. Um, I love you, but so we've gone over all eight of our of our romance candidates. We've discussed where we stand. So where does that leave us? Well, reminder from the start, we want to pick one boy and one girl. So we it's, we don't really have eight. We have two sets of four. And out of those sets of four, the questions we really need to ask ourselves are who has gelled with us so far in the game? Who have we really 
sort of gotten into a vibe with thus far. We need to ask who has helped us to become a better thief, right? Either either emotionally or mechanically. Who who has who has made us a better uh, better at being a thief? And also, who have I already done lots of hanging out with? Because we're pretty late in the game, and if I want to get these suckers to ten, I gotta I gotta really work on it. So if we already have points with them, that's a plus in my book. <laughs> okay. So all that said, who, who do we think are going to be our, our two? So we think about all these factors, we think about all the pros and cons we've evaluated, we think about all of the multitude of uh, romantic situations and like friendships that we've forged. I think it's there's a pretty clear two front runners, uh, and you might think the same thing, because I have not been shy about saying that I am gunning for these people from the start, and it's because it's a catchy and because I love them. They're so good. They're my little nerds who will beat the shit out of me in intellectual combat, and then take me out for a nice meal. And really, that's that's what I need. That's what I need in this in this game out of a, a relationship. So, you know, let me know if you think differently. But I think this is a pretty clear pretty clear front runners uh, from the two. So thank you uh, for coming to my TED talk about about who I'm gonna smooch in this video game. Thank you for attending and being being part of this whole situation. <laughs> that said, that said, we have a video game to play, ladies and germs. We got a we got a situation to resolve. So let's frickin' figure that out, shall we? We have six text messages. Uh, the kid wants to hang out. Futaba wants to hang out. Ryuji wants to hang out. An wants to hang out. Yusuke wants to hang out. Makoto wants to hang out. Uh, let's take a look at these. Uh... Shinya wants wants to hang out. Are we kind enough to hang out with uh, Futaba? We could hang out with Futaba. Uh, Ryuji just wants to chill. Uh, let's see what Makoto, because we haven't actually got her. Um, her social account. So let's let's take a look at, at who all is where. So we got Makoto and Ryuji, we got Yusuke and An, uh, we got Futaba and Takemi we can increase. Uh, Takemi's at 8, but uh, Futaba definitely has some skills going on. We can hang out with Shinya. Let's actually take a look. Um... I want to see... Let's, let's look at our... Um... Nope, not save. There we go. We'll look at our confidence. We'll see uh, what kind of skills we can get. Um, so who can go up? Futaba. Uh, we get Memento Scan. She has to fully map a floor of Mementos. That's pretty good. Um, so that's a, that's a good ability to think about. Um, we got... Uh, here we go. Bullet Hail, a gun-based all-out attack, right after an ambush. That's really good. Um, let's see, and who else was? It was Takemi. Was our next one to increase? Uh, she doesn't give us one until ten, but that gives us uh, better revival items. 
which are always good because I don't have super good revival abilities. So that's that's a good thing. Let's hmm, let's hang out with the kid because I don't think we're gonna go into mementos in the next couple days, or I would hang out with Futaba. So let's hang out with um, with Shinya. Because that gun-based all-out attack sounds really good. Hey! There is a Phantom Beast capsule toy machine at the shop in the back alley. You can get all kinds of Phantom Beast stuff. I got a Phantom Beast badge. Wonder what I'll get next. You're here to train, right? Well, are you ready? Right. Sure am. See you, Morgana. What the? You made the same mistake last time. What are you doing? Don't you get it? You can't just shoot all over the place. King's so awesome at that game. Yeah, but he's got such a bad attitude. It's like he's bipolar. I wonder how long that high schooler is going to be able to keep up. No, Ugh, like you haven't gotten better at all. When are you going to learn? really late. Thanks to you for taking so- thanks to you taking so long to figure it out. Sorry. It's kind of weird hearing that from someone older than me. Hey. I've always been good at shooting games. I absolutely never want to lose a gun about. I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. It's time for all the elementary school kids to go home. Do you understand, little boy? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, alright? Something bothering you? I just don't want to go home. The house is so boring. No one's ever there, and there's never anything to do. Adults in high school are just so lucky. They get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. I wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I'd never lose another game. I need to get really strong, like the Phantom Thieves. Do you admire them? Of course I do! I want to be just as strong as they are. I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strength. So do I. That's because you're a fan, like me. Seriously, though, I can't stop thinking about that employee. It was super annoying, huh? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. No one I taught you, remember? You should use it sometime. Yeah, get that gun-based all-out attack. Bullet hail. Well, it's just a move in the game, so it won't work against actual people. I wish it did. Then I'd be strong in real life. You'd be able to win in real life. I'm gonna head home. Yeah, get a little, get a little kinder. Hanging out with swear words, boy. Later. Say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. Hey, right, what are we gonna do tonight? We got. What are our options? Oh, hello, Rosan. It's me, Shinya Oda. I was bored, so I thought I'd call. I forgot to mention earlier, but you gotta keep practicing even on single player, okay? Everyone sucks at first, but you can get good if you do it every day. I'll work hard. You better. You're supposed to be the adult here. I'm practicing a lot, too. I want to get as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Oh, my mom came home. I gotta hang up. Bye. Alright, we got an evening. Ah, uh, you're back. We hang out with either of our, our 
Okay. That was not who I was expecting to call my cell phone. Inmate, we are calling to notify you of a special assignment. We have heard of a location where human emotions have been rendered into solid form. <laughs> we want to see for ourselves why they do that. So there you have it. Now hurry up and get over here. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Matarame went through. And Matarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. Don't let your guard down. Come on, don't scare her. Hmm. I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Yo. Oh, that's right, I ordered stuff. That's my my cool internet oh, stuff. Yeah. Alright. Um <gasps> It's he for me. It's he for me. Hold on. I gotta order stuff from the dark web and then I'm coming he for me. Coming, he for me. Let's go, let's talk. Something I'd like to tell you. Something unbelievable happened. I'm still confused about it. Would you be able to make some time for me today? Yes. Yes! Thank you very much. I will meet you at the church then. Let's go, it's he for me time. Actually... Well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far had been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who sold that story to the weekly magazine. I had no idea. I feel so shamed. However, thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills. I suppose I never had any. I became so conceited as a result of all those fake victories. <sighs> Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? It's as if she had a change of heart. Oh. A change of heart. The Phantom Thieves? That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdropped on our conversation? Maybe. Huh? If that's the case, then I must applaud them. Well done, Phantom Thieves. But I simply can't believe it. Um... I've decided. I'm not going to lose. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it, as planned. However, before that, I'm going to confess everything. I know I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. This next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. Oh, he for me. I love her. We love he for me, l'étoile. 
You'd be lying if I told you that I'm not scared. My kingdom is a house of cards. Not sure if it can withstand a true battle. However, I intend to fight with dignity to the very end, as a queen should. There's a new move I'd like to test out for the exhibition. I look forward to it. Will you stay for another game? Of course he for me. Please come at me with all you have. I'll start. That is, if you can get past the valiant knights who guard my Togo kingdom. Yes, we love he for me. We love he for me. Until next time. I see. So there's still room for improvement. I'd like to do this again sometime. Um, it's me. May I have a little bit of your time? I was just a little curious about your thoughts. Regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches, that is. A sport. Thank you. So glad to hear that. You're the reason I managed to make that decision, after all. Our talks helped me realize I should play with the utmost sincerity. Ah, I'm sorry. I only wanted to convey my gratitude for you. I must prepare for my exhibition match, so I'll be going now. I'll see you at the church. Yeah, see for me. <sighs> what could that be at this hour? Are you free tomorrow? Why, yes, Futaba. Perfect. You are cordially invited to go look at limited edition Featherman figures with me and Nerd Out. Let us ride to Nakano. We shall sally forth into a realm of true figuring geekdom. Ooh, Futaba's inviting you out. So what'll it be? Are you gonna go to Nakano? Yeah, let's do it. Well said. Then where I go for Nakano tomorrow. I'll send you directions, so read them. Better take a good look at your map so you don't get lost. New spot! New spot! Between ramen bars and a huge shopping complex, it's a joy to explore. Yeah, let's go to knock it up. <laughs> Did you see that limited edition model? So high quality. Way better than cheapos. The subtle facial expressions. Even the little wrinkles on the clothes. Oh, I want it so bad. You could get sushi ten times with that kind of money. Better start saving. Mm, saving up, huh? I guess that's the safest way to do it, but how many years of allowance would I need? Fine. I guess I'll just have to settle for staring at it. Uh, hey, UI. <laughs> hello, hello, my criminal boss. <laughs> um. Okay, next up. Oh. Wait a sec. That guy's definitely bad news. I mean, I don't want to say he's Yakuza, but... Uh, listen, let's just wait for him to leave. Don't make eye contact, okay? He's not that scary. Well, look who it is. Yo. Hey, didn't think I'd bump into you here. He's talking to us. We're dead. Who's the other little lady? Basically my sister. Basically, huh? Sounds complicated. Still, not like I'm in a place to judge. You know this guy? He's my boss. <laughs> what, like for a job? I guess you could say that. Wait, like, that military store? Oh, you know what? I, yeah, I mean, yes, sir. Relax, kid. I don't bite. You're on business? 
Oh, me and these guys go way back. They distribute some of my wares here. Wares? What about that model gun in the second floor display case? Oh, huh. Yeah, that's probably one of ours. The level of detailing on that one was crazy. Like the barrel shape and even the metal texturing was perfect. The kind of authenticity is hard to find. <laughs> Whoa. You know your stuff, little lady. You ought to drop by the shop sometime. I got plenty more models for someone who can appreciate them. What? Really? Yeah, really. See you around. <laughs> He's kind of scary looking, but he seems like a nice guy. That's fun, get some EY points. was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this what normally happens? Matarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried, but let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry, it'll be just like it always is. Yeah, because they didn't see him get fucking shot. Oh, goodness. Speech today, he wants to hang out, he wants to hang out, money. Let's see. One, Yoshida. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, maybe we hang out with... Let me check what their, um, abilities are. Save real quick. Confidant... Dealer. His next one is at five. And he gives me a discount on. I have to do some customization. Um, and then have people fundraising. Uh, large amounts of money. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty set on money. Um, I have a bunch of treasure to sell too. So why don't we? Let's go hang out with Eli, and I'll sell my stuff while we're there. He's gonna go up. Uh, we're shop. Sell all my treasure. Cool, and then let's look at. Customizing. Sounds good. Now, once you put some accuracy mods on a handgun, it's easier to go right for the vitals. I knew a guy I who shot. could line up a kill shot in 0.2 seconds flat. Freeze. So what I currently have is 130.92.8. Mm, I don't think I want to do that. Shock is really good, but I think I'll keep mine. Standard. Let's look right, at my other teammates. She got. She's got the power receiver. Not much impact, but it's accurate. And there's the rapid fire. If you tighten up the accuracy even more, then all that focus fire is gonna add up to some real hurt. Tack down to 73 from. She got 110 right now. Ugh. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Hodo. Which one? Did, I need to get her a weapon. That's and good. then... Haru... Be sure to choose carefully. Her Just weapon. don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught up in a racket. Because getting Haru a... Um, a status effect would be good. Alright. Alright, which one? 
I just got in a new gun. Huh? You got yes. a few better not use I it. I have a lab horn. With that. She needs higher accuracy, so let's get her longer and all. And then Haru. And get her a Scorcher. That one? You change your mind? Uh, same accuracy. Attack is down to 200. You look serious today. From 212. That's, That's not bad. Choosing? Don't break it, okay? And then you like what we can some of our do more is items, huh? oh, that's such a big decrease for the high burn. Let's give her a power receiver. One sure thing. Uh, I think that's good for now. Can I buy me right, a better one? one? You like automatics, huh? They used to be considered unreliable, but now everyone uses them. Let's get her a. Let's buy me a choose crimson, it, you yeah. better not use it to pull a prank. And then custom. Nice weather like this makes me want to go up into the mountains and blast a few rounds. Uh, yeah, let's put that on that it. One. Why not? Good. And then sounds good. On. You know that this is a submachine gun, right? It ain't the same as an assault rifle. That's what yeah, but I, I should have done this before customizing, but that's fine. Be sure to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught up in a racket. Yeah, let's increase her attack, because she can't aim at anything. She just sprays. Okay, and then... Okay. Sell... Uh... I can't sell my guns back. But I can sell melee weapons. I guess that's fine. I will keep the. You should be grateful. Yeah, get rid of the like all the you should stock be ones. That's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, come again. I think that's good for now. And now we What's hang up? out. This time I'm gonna have you gather some info. You'll be on your own though. I gotta take care of some other business. Good. Guy you're looking for is homeless, but he knows what's up. He'll be somewhere in Shibuya. Get info on the rumor about the underground deal. Don't act all suspicious. I gotta take care of some other business, so I'm counting on you, kid. So, you want to know about some underground business deals, huh? You know you can find anything you need on the internet, right? You may be looking for something a little more. See it in your eyes. Who sent you here? It's none of your business. Sure. Anyways, I'll tell you. Just this once. I'm getting into some shady business here. Alright. Just act like I'm mumbling to myself, you got it? No promises I'm gonna say anything useful either. So, big zone for the Hong Kong Mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's. Apparently, something big went down with a huge Asian investor. Deal was worth about 100 million yen. Though you'd figure something that massive would have got more people talking about it. Maybe they leased some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't hear a thing about that, though. Alright, we're done here. Go. Store is impressive as always. Great stuff, EY. Yeah. 
It's nice to hear that coming from you, Suda-san. I bet you could start a war with realistic models like these. Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. Hmm? Yo. Welcome. Alright, EY. I'll take one of everything you showed me today. I'll need an entire arsenal. How long would that take? Hmm. Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to go through customs. How long things get stuck there is totally out of my control, though. Tell me, Mune. What's your son's name? Kaoru-kun, was it? That's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, I might just have to let Kaoru-kun in on your little secret. <sighs> Suda-san, please. I wonder... How would an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza? I guess if things go sour, we could always try to sell him again. Fine. What a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well then, I look forward to hearing from you again. Soon. Sorry to make you, make you wait, kid. God damn it! So that was Suda. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry I had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn about anything good? 100 million yen deal. So someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth 100 million yen? They happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Tsuda had something to do with it. I hear he's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. I gotta do some more research into it myself. <laughs> Anyways, nice job. I'm gonna be able to give Tsuda a real scare thanks to the info you gave me. Funeral? <laughs> that goes without saying. Man, can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I felt this excited. It's all because of you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. La Palme du. Well, I'm gonna head home early and spend some good old quality time with Kaoru to celebrate. Yo. Damn fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. Oh man, I would get so much more proficient if I wasn't always already the most proficient a human being could be. Later. I'll see you next time. Yo, it's me. Just wanted to give you a fair warning before I go home to Kaoru. You definitely got me some good intel. Honestly, I appreciate that. But now, Suda knows your face. And that could be a real problem. I agree. You catch on fast. Thanks to that shit today, Suda knows we're connected at least. Which means the stunt we pulled with, uh, with Masa ain't gonna work on him. Well, what's done is done. If one method isn't gonna work, we just gotta find another. I, I'll think about our next move. Till then, don't do anything stupid. When I need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. Fuck yeah. Man, working with EY is such a bad decision. As someone who is like on parole. I found an awesome magazine. I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first and I'll wait. See ya. Okay, Futaba's hanging out.
<laughs> Better run, Mr. CEO. Sunglasses face. Hey. Okay, Futaba's in the shop. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm gonna do that, just because I'm already at the, like, threshold for getting her thing up, and I'm at max proficiency. As much as I, I do want to hang out, uh, I can get to Kemi up, which is probably the plan. Get Shinya up again. Yeah, let's get to Kemi to 9. Evenings have been getting cooler. It's easy to get sick in that in-between period as the seasons change, so be careful. So, what are you here for today? Clinic trial. I've made progress with the medicine. Do you tag along for a bit? I'm going to meet someone in Okashira Park. Let's go. It's close, right? Let's go. Yeah. To Kemi time. Here. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine, they're all there inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment, and we'll be ready to treat Miyo-chan with it. Excellent. Then the rest is up to you. So, uh, this is the kid from your study, huh? <laughs> Yes, she's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? Alright, I'll call you later. He's the doctor treating Miwa-chan. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Don't worry about it. I see. Okay. Then I guess I won't. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success and they'll complete development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands, though. If... I don't accept their offer, that is. Mm. I was recruited. He offered me the position of head of research and development in this hospital. Which means I'll have to close my practice. I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, the Kimmy Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. Your patients? I'll urge my patients to transfer to that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. <laughs> <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by me? Just kidding. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa-chan and receive my reward. Her smile. Oh, I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up her end of the teal. Le mort. All right. Anyway... You were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but... Come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay, you can tell me. Hey. Why did you keep on coming to me? I should choose my words carefully, because this would trigger the romance. Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? It was for my exams! Is that so? Well, I can take a hint. It's getting late. You should get going. 
Come visit anytime. I'll see you later. It it was to see Takemi, but I don't want to start the relationship dialogue. Hey, guinea pig. Thanks for tagging along today. I've got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track for the cure to go through. And something tells me I'd never have gotten this far without you. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me, even when one of those side effects could have killed you. You really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. Glad we saw it through. Well, it'll still need some tests and adjusting before it's ready for actual treatment. It still needs lots of work. But I have faith that someday soon, it'll help Mila-chan smile again. And I haven't forgotten all you did to help. I'll make sure to bump up your compensation a little. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. We're done with the clinical trials, but you can drop by any time you still need some more medical supplies. Might as well keep getting checkups, too. Better safe than sorry, right? I'll look at whatever you need me to. Yay! Rank 9. Uh, you're back. Tomorrow's the date of the arrangement with your fiancé. I'll be okay, though. The state my father is in has put that on hold for the time being. Whew! We accomplished one of our goals. That doesn't mean my marriage has been called off, though. My father agreed to do so in that other world, but I'm not so sure now, given his current condition. Hmm. So that, too, will be on hold until the change of heart. Well, sounds to me like we're totally in the clear. Yes, and it's all thanks to you guys. Everything should work out well if Okumura has a change of heart. Assuming it happens like it always does, we should be seeing some results soon. And we'll see those results after this quick break we're going to take. So I will see you all in five. Grab a snack, grab a drink. I'm going to go get some more juice. Use the restroom if you got it. We will be back shortly. Bye, everyone.
apologies. There was a little bit of a traffic jam uh, by the juice machine. But I got everything. We got we got an evening to spend. First off, let's use Texas. Oh, Ethanie wants to. The only thing I want to check is if Akechi is around. Because he, he and me, we're not going to get up just yet. But Akechi's not around, so I think we hang out with he and me. We have Kaiwan. Feels like I very rarely see a catchy. <laughs> I was happy to be able to see you in Hawaii. You came to see me today, too. In addition to practice, reading books about shogi is important for winning as well. Um... I've read all my textbooks. Where can I gain knowledge that I have yet to discover? Oh, never mind. May I request a match? Kinbocho might have some old textbooks for for me. Let's go to Book Town. Indeed, that place may have knowledge that I have yet to discover. Let's go. Well then, let's go there right away. Book date. Book um, date. I'm looking for a book that contains an analysis of a certain game of shogi. I must be ready for any opponent, no matter how strong. And to do that, I must study as much as I can. Look at all these books. It's not going to be easy to find. We can take our time. Yes. Yes, you're right. I have no intention of giving up easily. I'll do my best to look for it. It would make me happy if you could assist me. Rather than search blindly, we should study the shelves and come up with a strategy. First, let's get an idea of how books are arranged here. Is it by title or by author? But take a good look around the store to fully understand the layout. Oh, planning! I love planning! This is like foreplay to me! <laughs> I'd also like to find a book about shogi problems as well. I'll explain while we search. I look forward to it. Now then, if we approach this method meta If we approach this methodically, we'll find them. I appreciate your assistance. Yeah! It's like I because I know Akechi's different between Persona 5 and Royal. Um, I don't know much about how that is, because I figure it's pretty spoilers. But yeah, it feels like I never see a catchy. Um, the clerk gave me a gift. It's quite a lovely ornament. Perhaps it would look nice in your room. Oh, thank you. Maybe there's a way to make sure he has a good time. That's right, I have some- Oh, fuck! She'd be delighted to receive something that's relaxing. Uh, fuck. I forgot about gifts, because I, like, never have these in-betweens. Um. Buji Matcha Flan? I would consider that relaxing. A Sakura fan for a traditional lady? She's kind of- traditional but no i feel like i feel like the flaunt because like the face beautifier feels like feels like a weird thing even though like a, it's a massager so i can see how that would be relaxing i feel like the flaunt is the best play here i can have this thank you very much welcome thank you this is really nice okay good oh nice that was a that was a a three uh, a three-star thing. Feels like I touched Hifumi's heart a little. Yes! Okay, so next time I hang out with her, we'll bump up to nine, and we can start that relationship. Today's the day, right? Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. 
That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats. When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? Yeah, where is Yusuke? He's still asleep at this point. He's definitely going to be late for school. One week left until exams. You'll have no problems if you've been studying regularly this semester. I just remembered. That aside, Okumura Foods has been a hot topic lately. This much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen. At first, I even thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's giving them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else for a corporation. Are you familiar with a psychological test using these images? The idea is to give the two shapes names appropriate to their appearance. <gasps> Booba and Kiki! Rosan. It's Boba and Kiki! It's Boba and Kiki, one of my favorite psychological experiments! I guess it's, it's not just a psychological experiment, it's like a psycholinguistic experiment. People were asked to name one of these shapes Boba and the other Kiki. Which name was most commonly ascribed to shape B? Boba. Yes. That's correct. Most people named B, Boba, and A, Kiki. Sharp sounds like K and T are linked to a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. Yeah, I love Boba and Kiki. Nice going. Give me that knowledge point I don't need. A product's name impresses an image on people before they even use or buy it. Big Bang Burger exemplifies this. The voiced consonants and short syllables leave a strong imprint. Although with the news these days, it may also evoke the image of the strong oppressing the weak. Mm. Even the teachers have their eyes on Okumura. Well, he should be having a change of heart, so there should be nothing to worry about. today it's finally lunchtime man I'm really in the mood for some bread today hey can I speak with you for a moment yeah what's up so about dr. Maruki's counseling you've already gone to see him right yep I have I see that's good then I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. Oh, is it because of his, his fancy new paper? The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! He's just like my cat. Uh, senpai, so nice to see you. Love to eat little scraps of bread. <laughs> yeah, what, that, I don't know. I feel like Kaokami is like, Kaokami is trying to look out for us in the sense that she's like, don't draw any unwanted attention to yourself. You got that bad rap because of how Kamashita painted you at the very start. Like, just fucking lay low. 
and go so that like you're fulfilling your obligation that the school told you you had to attend at least once and that kind of stuff um kawakami is very much the kind of person who's like don't stand out don't stand out be normal <laughs> how you been i've been doing quite well are you also about to eat lunch senpai if it's all right with you would you mind eating together? Yeah. I mean, do you want Morgana to be snarfing bread in your face now that you can understand his human language? Good idea. Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Weird turn to take, Kasumi. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? She is an athlete. That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Now, Kasumi, don't mention the stadium turning into a palace. Because this dude loves that shit, and he will not let it go. Well... It's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like a reason to stand up to my problems. Good, good vagary. Good job, Kasumi. Isn't that right, Senpai? That's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food. Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Bye, Kasumi. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say... This drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Anything's possible, if you believe. <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. I can't believe I didn't even give Morgana any bread. How mean of me. Also, like, Marky, what's up? What's this situation you're getting yourself into? You want to meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? The rooftop? What is this about? Oh, yeah, you went there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before classes end for the day. Uh, that reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. I didn't know about that. That's right. The season is good, so I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks. 
All right, I'll see all of you after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. I love that Yusuke just like was not paying attention this morning. <laughs> are changing soon so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well this time it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production all I did was add some how do I put it aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement furthermore Haru chose the flowers herself it will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement <laughs> I'm looking forward to it <laughs> why don't we plant you Mona Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? <laughs> You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. I love that they have this weird little beef. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party? A night party? You mean a party at night? At Destiny Land. Destiny Land? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Well, Destiny Land Tokyo. Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? <laughs> she makes the tree leaf joke one more time. I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! You're really going to have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. I mean, fuck yeah, sure. If your company is going to rent out fucking Disneyland, then I guess we may as well go. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Seems like we'll be having our celebration at Destiny Land tonight. I mean, it, the press conference is at 8 p.m. Aren't we gonna watch that? Hmm, that was delicious. Aw, oh, little bear ears on Ryuki. <gasps> the little bunny ears on Futaba! And I assume. On has cat ears, but she's at an angle where I can't sit. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this <clears throat> table and food just for us, huh? Oh, that's cute with the little bow. I love that they added that to her sprite. I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! <laughs> Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams. 
Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? What what are you doing, Futaba? <laughs> exactly. Like why do you need a a skyscraper on its side sized like super yacht? When you could just like rent out Disneyland. <laughs> would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady on, this view <laughs> is not as beautiful as Oh, Morgana. Oh, you dummy. Come on. You guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just cuz Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Oh, you have to. Yeah, it's it's like you need a muscle car so you can go to the muscle car meetups to hang out with other people who can afford muscle cars. It's just the same thing with yachts. Still very dumb. I agree. No fight in those. What was that? My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I was gonna say sushi was pretty good. But to be fair, at, at this one, Ryuji hasn't leaked our cover as loudly as he can at the top of his voice. So it's probably the best one yet. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Mirkala, fair point. Yet. <laughs> Yeah, also, like, why does Haru not have a chair? She's, like, weirdly outside this little group. I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? Oh, don't worry. Uh, we don't know that your dad got shot yet. It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Okay, good. They are paying attention. Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all this true? Yeah, now yeah, we gotta talk about the mental breakdowns. Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. A 
about that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Okay. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. Is he straight up gonna get killed? I... Just snipe. Oh no, he's having a heart attack. Okay. Okumura san? Oh no, worse than a heart attack. Huh? Oh, okay. So first off, that was a lot and we're going to talk about it, but I think it was a really nice touch that they did. It's like a Nico Nico Doga like restream. <laughs> where it had like the comments running across the the video. That's that was cool that they they like sort of faded out to the phones that way. F Father? Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Anachan, what's going on? Yeah, like uh, being in Disneyland wearing the little like excess little, little hair bands and stuff is very silly for this horrific like, turn of events. Especially because we don't have the knowledge to know that we weren't the ones who killed him. So, like, we think we just fucked up. No, that's impossible. We did everything the same. You're right. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? Been okay all four times so far ever since kamoshida you can definitely argue that like we should have done it to kamoshida i personally think that I i'm siding with odd in that she did not spare him his life out of kindness but out of spite because they're forcing him to continue living and to be like imprisoned is a worse sentence than death Right? Like, destroying his entire reputation, tarnishing his name, and then imprisoning him is more cruel than... Yeah, brainwashing definitely removes personal responsibility. Um, I definitely think that there's an argument to be had there. Uh, that's, like, that's, that's kind of what a catchy feels, right? Is, like, if you're using unlicensed psychiatry to make someone, like, come to terms with and like confess their guilt they didn't they didn't they weren't brought to justice you just changed who the person was um but like i'm kind of with on where like by not killing these people because they're in positions of such power by having them actually face justice for maybe the first time in their lives is a is a more punishing like just desserts for them than if we had killed them and they just had a heart attack like like uh Omakura just did okamura just did um right like he could have endured so much more suffering as a result of his actions than what just happened there and we know that that's orchestrated by the whole um like conspiracy behind the mental shutdowns but obviously they don't know that we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is the same. That's her mom. I remember now. It's just like, what happened to my mom? So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Yeah, Haru is obviously, like, she, like, just got into this and her very first job went bad. 
She is having a rough go. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Oh, Sai is catching on. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? Never mind, maybe she's not what I'm talking about. Like, bitten by his lapdog, I thought she was saying, like, she he had somebody in his pocket. Oh, but she's assuming that the people in his pocket were the Phantom Thieves. Okay. There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. Okay, Akechi is picking up on something. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up. But I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Okay, on one hand, we're responsible. On the other hand, Akechi has not denied his, like, involvement. Which is a weird thing to do if you weren't involved. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, Sai-san. Like, why is he phrasing it this way? He he wasn't involved, unless he also stole information from her. And we just happened to do it at the same time. But like, why is he not just saying, no, I didn't do it? In addition to his, like, I'm offended that you would even consider me. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Now who's next, winky face? Also, we have like 92% approval. So, about Haru's dad. Uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No. Haru. Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shock could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die? It's gotta be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine, as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. He says it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I 
heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing. But what are we supposed to do from here on out? Ari's gonna be fine, right? Hey. We should check what these uh, do. Like spirit mirrors. <laughs> Foul breath and stagnant air. Boy, I wish it would tell me what the fucking skill did. But. I don't know. Okay, let me order a little bit more. Never mind. I'm going to bed because the cat wants me to go to bed. You gonna go velvet room? Looks like it. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I just, I just stop looking at Igor's face because I'm reading his text. And so I haven't looked at him in a while, and I forget that he looks like that because it does not match his, his like, voice at all. What happened? Who knows? I was hoping you would. However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another. It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Alright, I mean I'll... Rank 9. All right. We're getting there. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Oh, yeah. Dropped another 10%. Did you hear? Okamura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It's a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, it's still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. Man, I wish I got to see that person die in real time. Listen this time, okay? And in this age, proletarian literature, that is, literature written by the working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was gonna be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared that I changed the channel. It really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. Things are getting pretty bad. Hmm. It seems police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okamura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okamura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. And seriously, what are they here, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. 
Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out. Head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? Uh, Futaba just wiped those text logs real quick, like, just in case. <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. Uh, we're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. We didn't do that one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the FBI could they could just take your phone from you while you're logged in. That this is why you should never have the like fingerprint ID or whatever because they need a warrant to get your password. But they don't need a warrant to press your force your finger up against the little fingerprint sensor to unlock your phone. Um yeah, so Futaba, just go ahead and wipe all that. Uh, just wipe all all of our recorded conversations, anything we've ever said to each other. Yes. Oh, absolutely, it holds up in court. It's it it because the police are allowed to like manhandle you in any way they want. To, like secure and right they can tackle you they, they're allowed to use a certain amount of bodily force and so opening your phone with your fingerprint even if they have to grab your hand and force you to open it is within their purview it's within their their like legal ability not that cops doing illegal things has ever had consequences for the cops but uh yes to, to like force you to give them your password they that's a uh they can't, like, it's just like forcing a confession out of someone, right? They, like, need to have a uh, reasonable whatever. But, like, uh, to, to physically make you open it, it is, it is specifically not protected because it lies outside of existing law on the subject, and there hasn't been new law specifically about uh, biometrics because they're allowed to collect any of your biometrics they want, right? They're allowed to print you. They're allowed to take DNA evidence like like there there's there's a lot of things that that cops are allowed to do um and biometric information is within their purview because otherwise it would fucked up anything else um so like it, there need to there aren't more specific regulations that would prevent this kind of exploitation um but like with like qualified immunity and stuff, like cops can do kind of whatever. Um, yeah, I mean that's a good thing to teach cops, right? Don't shoot until you've been shot at, like, cause that's a, like a, when they teach you how to hold a gun in any in any situation. I mean, first off, if someone, I mean, I'm I don't want to get too into this because it, it'll it'll derail us, but like. I think police have an obligation to to be nonviolent as far as is humanly possible because a they chose to be in a, a profession that puts them in danger and that is a risk that they have accepted by taking that position and b like just because you you took that position doesn't mean that murder is legal. <laughs> right uh and and i think that with the way that qualified immunity works in this country is is pretty gross um where cops do not have to be aware of what the law is and if they break the law they can just say i didn't know that was the law and that's a legal defense for them so i don't want to get too off the rail on the on the like real life cop step because we're dealing with first off the japanese legal system which is very different from the united states legal system and also a fictional story but uh yeah there there's definitely stuff is messed up right now <laughs> but it's wild that they Sorry, found a calling card but your father hadn't said anything about the because we didn't thieves, correct 
that was a that has to have been a forged one, right? Because we didn't leave one there. That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. Yeah, because we didn't do that one. But now Haru's going to doubt us. All right, flash forward. So what is it? We're, we're end of October currently. When is this flash forward? Do we get to know? No, it fades out intentionally. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Or just refused to speak. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? The teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. I appreciate the sentiment, Sai. Le jugement. All right. See, we're only five with her. The subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Right, because like we're we're nine with Morgana, we're nine with Igor, which makes me go like, oh, we're getting close to the end. But we're only five with Sai. I don't know. Maybe at some point when we catch up to this, we will have like free time we can spend increasing her confidant. I don't know if it's fully linked to uh, to story progress. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Oh boy. Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? Oh yeah, what's this weird, like, double vision? Did she truth serum us? What in the world did the police inject into you? Oh, they truth serumed us. Vision is starting to get distorted. Hey, hey, can you hear me? hear me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Sorry, my hair is just going through my neck. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last, we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. Oh boy. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. That explains why she's so fucking different in the flash forward than in the flashback. Now... Explain everything to me. Oh boy. We got we got a new target on the table. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? Worried about her. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. Doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats, either. I'm worried about her. <sighs> I hope Haru's okay. Yeah, me too, bud. I guess I'm... Oh, here, let me, let me buy some black market stuff. 
I'm gonna buy some Magasamas. I think that's enough to... Yeah, there we go. 40,000 yen has got to be the next oh. threshold for new new items. How are we doing on games? We got Garful... Garful? Golfer Saratahiko. So I could get the last... Let's do this, because we'll, we'll get the last um, okay. video game like charm that I can get. Uh, yes, let's slow the bar down. I'm, I suck at, like, hitting the correct part of a sliding bar. That's, like, my least favorite thing in video games. <laughs> Practice course. Normal distance shot. Press A to move the bar from the start to the right. Press A again to stop the bar within the zoom area. Okay. Got a yellow, that's fine. Please don't tell me I have to get the red. Ball's on the green. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thus begins the purge. What an ominous message to leave on a forum. Or maybe they're just a really big fan of the purge movies. Oh, Nonakun? My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. You alright? Yes. Thank you. Um, there's actually something that caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright, let's meet up with everyone after school. Alright, noted. She's probably going to tell us about the principal's coin card. Which solidifies the idea that we're being framed. Instead of we just messed it up. With this guy. This, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Oh boy. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. Hey, dude, I thought you usually, I thought you usually do that in, in Shibuya. It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. 
still. They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers. Yeah, they just lightning fast change of attitude. They just wanted someone to root for, and as soon as they had someone to blame, we were the most. They were the easiest candidate. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Nijima-san. I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. Yeah. It's the first I've heard of it! They're connecting those dots! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Yeah. Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. That, no. You're a robot and you're wrong. Sorry about that. Yeah, Futaba? does Futaba just not do school? I guess she doesn't, because she's been, like, sick this whole time. Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Oh boy, yeah, we're down to 68. For real? They found a calling card on the principal? That's impossible. This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okumura? They never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me, though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Arguable. <laughs> okay. Alright. I think... You know, we, we, it's about five o'clock now. We've had a good long stream, got a lot done. 
I gave my little my little presentation at the start. So thanks everyone for for coming and hanging out. I think we're gonna end there today. A uh, bit of a switch up this week. On Wednesday we're gonna do a chill model builder stream, uh, and then Friday at one we are gonna do some more um, some more Persona Five. So let's see. Let me check and see if if Jules is still still going. Because their stuff is cool. Oh, Jules is doing a birthday donathon. Well, we gotta go raid Jules. Here, let me let me get our our raid started. We will uh, we'll send folks over that way. So thank you everyone for coming and hanging out. I will see you on Wednesday at one uh, or on Friday at one depending on what you want to come and hang out for. Bye, everyone.